Welcome to this episode of WikiWalks, a short podcast devoted to some of the more intriguing and, huh, who knew, articles that you can run across in the weird world of Wikipedia. I'm your host, Chris Grismer. You know, somebody told me the other day that they went to a local beekeeper to buy some bees, but all of the bees had price tags on them except for one. It was a freebie. <laughs> Once the immediate feeling of wanting to punch this person in the mouth subsided, it made me wonder what was the strangest bee-related Wikipedia article I could find in less than three minutes of work might be. And I think I got what I was looking for. Telling the bees. You see, there was a time when almost every rural British family who kept bees followed a strange tradition. Whenever there was a death in the family, somebody had to go out to the hives and tell the bees all about it. Failing to do so often resulted in further losses, such as the bees leaving the hive or not producing enough honey or even dying themselves. You know, traditionally, the bees were kept abreast of not only deaths, but all important family matters, including births, marriages, and long absences due to journeys. If the bees were not told, all sorts of calamities were thought to happen. This peculiar custom is known as telling the bees. Humans have always had a special connection with bees. In medieval Europe, bees were highly prized for their honey and wax. You know, honey was used as food. It was used to make mead, which is possibly the world's oldest alcoholic beverage after Zima, and as medicine also to treat burns, coughs, indigestion, all other kinds of ailments. Candles made from beeswax burn brighter, longer, and cleaner than wax candles. Bees were often kept at monasteries where they were tended to with the greatest respect and considered part of the family or community. It was considered rude, for example, to argue in front of the bees. No, honey, not in front of the bees. Celtic mythology held that bees were the link between our world and the spirit world, so if you had any message that you wanted to pass to somebody who was dead... All you had to do was tell the bees, and they would pass along the message. Telling the bees was widely reported from all around England, and also many places across Europe. Eventually, the tradition made its way across the Atlantic and into North America. When you had info to share, it was tradition to go out to the hives, knock gently to get the attention of the bees, and then softly murmur the solemn news. The 19th century American poet John Greenleaf Whittier even described this peculiar custom in his 1958 poem, Telling the Bees. He made a whole poem about it. This was a legit and widespread practice. If there was a wedding in the family, the hives were decorated and pieces of cake were left outside so that the bees, too, could partake in the festivities. Newlywed couples introduced themselves to the bees of the house. Otherwise, their married life was bound to be miserable. If the bees were not adequately put into mourning through the sharing of the news, terrible misfortunes befell the family and to the person who bought the hive. Now, it might all seem silly, this symbiotic and intimate relationship with our striped friends, but 70 of the top 100 crop species that feed 90% of the human population rely on bees for pollination. And as a species, we have been far more superstitious about far more unimportant things. So the next time you have some news to share, I want you to first find your nearest honeybee and then let them know what all the buzz is about. 